Okay, these are the bag racks along the corridor. So you're going to leave your bags before you go into the lab. Don't take bags into the lab. So when you get here, you need to line up quietly, not spread across the whole corridor, otherwise people can't get through. And wait for the teacher to let you in. Don't go into the labs unless there's a teacher there who invites you in. There we go, these are the labs. Neat and tidy, how you want to leave them. Notice that the chairs are all under the tables. This is how you want to leave them, or once you're doing practical work, you leave them out of the way under the table. So each uh, octagon has got some sockets. Uh, electrical sockets, gas taps, normal taps. And then there's some uh, bigger sinks here in the middle between the octagons. As you can see, uh, symmetrical, same on the other side. I'll take you through some of the things that are useful to know about. Uh, here we've got some shelves with boiling tubes, test tubes, broken glass. Spatulas, thermometers, and we've got some big sinks with taps, tissues, hand wash. These drums contain deionized water, pure water, and that pure water you put into these wash bottles here. Here we've got a glassware draining rack. When you've rinsed out your glassware, you can leave it to drain on there. These are fume cupboards. They're not making any noise at the moment because they're not turned on. They do make a bit of a, a, a roaring noise when they're on. And sometimes uh, they make a beeping noise when the air pressure drops. If they're making a noise, an alarm noise, then press that red button there and that will shut them up. Okay. Hey, this is our stash of normal chemicals that we uh, use during the course of the practical work. Don't touch them unless you're told to. And then here we've got our balance area, electrical balances. Sometimes they're stored here in the middle. Sometimes we might put them out onto the desks. And here's a, an experiment that's stashed away inside the fume cupboard. Uh, the sash is down to keep the fumes out of the way. Uh, and uh, don't get your head inside the fume cupboard. That's as close as you want to be. And ideally, have the sash down and look through. Okay, we've got clamps and bosses and burette holders. Another big sink with taps. Some more chemicals. These are solids which are used in experiments and some uh, indicators. Lots of the stuff is stored in the cupboard, so let's have a little look at those. These are grapnel trolleys and they contain various different bits of kit. Uh, the trolleys do come out, but we tend to keep them stashed away. Uh, and we've got white tiles, got gauzes, funnels, test tube holders, tongs, dropping pipettes and uh, stirring rods. Heat mats for all experiments are stored under the sink. And under the steam covers we have various things such as retort stands, test tube racks, and Bunsen burners. Small Bunsen burners. Tripods. Don't put hot tripods away. Wait till they've cooled. Glassware. Trays of different bits of glassware. Measuring cylinders. Small ones on the top, large ones on the bottom. One of the big sinks will have a dustpan and brush underneath it for tidying up spills and glassware. 
and tray of various chemicals that we might use, mainly acids and alkalis, go in this tra these trays here, with uh, a class set of indicators as well. Let's just stand in the middle, have a good look round. You can see what's what. So when you leave the lab, make sure you take all your belongings with you. Leave the chairs under the tables. And go back to the bag racks. Put your stuff away and try and keep out of everybody's way in the corridor.